Welcome everyone. It is so nice to be back together and have an opportunity to discuss things that matter in this community and discuss how we can make them better. Anything in South Carolina is a national issue. I mean, that's not, our history is that important. It's that, it's that easy. Teachers, uh, I think they're stressed. I, I really worry about I worried about it 20 years ago. I really worry about it now as to what it, as to what is being taught. If I were a public history teacher in a state that had recently passed an anti-CRT law, critical race theory law, I would be very cautious, I imagine, about some of the things that I would say. And that is a really, really horrible place to be in. School was probably never, but definitely is not about indoctrinating children. And, and I think it is a dereliction of duty for us to not give them um, the tools, the guidance, the educators, the museums, the historical sites, the books, the whatever it is, to be able to explore that space in their early um, steps into their own critical thinking. We're on a good trajectory in terms of dealing with the hard things. Yes, there are enemies at the gate, but I think for me and others, you have to be confident in yourself. And I think when you are, that gives you the capacity to overcome things that may come up against you. We need to add to the story, tell more of the history. Y'all need to know where we all came from in this state, and that's how you shape where you're gonna go in the future. You gotta know where you came from in order to know where you're going. Uh, leave this building and drive, drive down the street, you won't see or very few African-American owned businesses. That used to not be the case. And so we have to make sure that we look at our respective budgets. And if there's a goal not being met, we need to meet those goals. Let's critically examine our land use policies, our zoning policies, to make sure we're not creating a situation where we're incentivizing and encouraging gentrification. Um, we're talking about very technical stuff, but this is where the game is right now, in my opinion. When you look at those issues that literally hit you at your front door, <laughs> racial stress and racial injustice and systemic uh, wrongs, then we have to come to a place within our society that we call those things out. The Charleston Forum is extremely important because when we talk about these things, I think we recognize that we have more in common than those things that are different.